The office clerk suddenly found his mouse. Curse removed to the wall of reality. He was afraid that he was blind, so he used his finger to slide back and forth on the touchpad. Then he found that the mouse cursor could switch between the virtual and real worlds at will. Jack moved the mouse cursor to his glass of water. Then he pressed the left button on the touchpad. Then the glass of water really fell over, and the water flowed all over the floor. The movement not only startled Jack, but his colleagues also looked at him with complaints. Jack quickly apologized to everyone, and then cleaned up the messed up desk. Jack was surprised by this discovery, but also afraid that others would know about it. Suddenly he turned his head, and saw the ticket had been issued by his boss for being late for work. Jack slowly moves his mouse cursor to the fine slip. First he changed the supervisor's name to cute little guy. As he tapped on the keyboard again, the content of the ticket changed. He changed the content of the fine to the most outstanding employee of the year and will receive a bonus of 100 000 euros this month. Jack picked up the revised fine ticket and looked at the ticket with no sign of Photoshop. The smile on his face became more and more rampant. With this function, he can do whatever he wants in the future. Jack could not stop laughing when he thought of this. But before he could laugh for two seconds, his co-workers gave him another look of retardation. But Jack now no longer cared about these. He just wanted to see if the mouse cursor could control human beings or not. Looking at the dumbfounded colleagues, Jack felt that they were not suitable subjects for the experiment. He decided to pick the most suitable person for his experiment. Since the office was not convenient for him to perform this function, Jack grabbed his computer and rushed out of the office. Just as he was about to run straight to the street, he suddenly found Anna, his boss, in the office. He remembered the endless pressure she had put on him, so Jack immediately decided to make Anna the first unlucky person to be experimented on. He excitedly Saturday in the hallway and quietly observed Anna's position. Seeing her serious work, Jack couldn't help but want to break the peace. He slid the mouse cursor off the computer desktop, maneuvering it across the hallway to creep up on the desk. At that moment, Anna suddenly turned around and faced the door. However, her movement was just right for Jack to do his job. Seeing that the time was right, Jack moved the mouse cursor quickly and precisely to her lap. He moved a mouse cursor to a woman's thigh. Suddenly, it penetrates her untouched pussy. The man controlling the mouse cursor tapped the touchpad. <sighs> Anna felt something bad, but before she could figure out the source of the problem, Jack continued to rub his fingers back and forth on the touchpad. As he worked, he watched Anna's reaction. He observed that she had started to clench her fingers on the desktop. Her glasses were also removed in a panic. Anna was in pain from the torture. Jack knew the time had come. So he put his 30 years of single hand speed on the touchpad and accelerated it to 150 mph. Jack watched her expression closely. He sped up to 100 mph just when she needed it most. Finally Anna could no longer resist getting up and running to the toilet. Jack rushed to the bottom of the computer for fear that Anna would notice the strange behavior of this. But she could never have imagined that she was being assaulted by a mouse cursor. Just this morning, Jack suddenly found that his mouse cursor had run into the real world. He could not only control the water glass, modify documents, he could even play with his boss. Jack rushed to tell this good news to a friend, but his friend didn't believe such a strange thing could happen in this world. So Jack began to show him the results of the experiment on the spot. First he used the mouse cursor to delete the name of the bank across the street. Then he changed it to Joker and Asshole Union and Bank. Then he opened the Photoshop box tool and used the mouse cursor to select the white wall on the opposite side and copy it. Finally, he pasted it to the next position. The window disappeared instantly. Even the decorator could not see that there was a window here. Finally, Jack used the mouse cursor to select the car on the side of the road and shrunk it to the size of a toy car. The owner came back confused because the car he was supposed to have in the parking space was gone. Only a model car was left in the same place. He could never have imagined that this model car was his car. His friend Ian witnessed this amazing scene. He was overjoyed and started to encourage Jack to use this superpower to seize the wealth. He said he could go with Jack to the bank president and make them voluntarily hand over all the money. Otherwise they could use the mouse cursor to destroy all the banks and destroy everything. Ian has gone a little crazy. He even started to imagine how the two of them would take over the world. But it didn't notice that because he was making too much noise, Jack used his mouse cursor to box him up. Just as Jack is about to hit the delete button. <laughs> Ian was still laughing and didn't even realize he was in trouble. This office clerk can kill with his mouse cursor. First he uses the mouse cursor to select the target person. Then he presses the delete button. His best friend disappears instantly, leaving only one arm in the world. Ian could never have imagined 
that he would one day be mercilessly eliminated by his friend for talking too much. Jack's first time doing this kind of thing is inexperienced. Plus, Ian was always restless. This led to the situation that Ian's body could not disappear from the world intact. Ian's arm falls downstairs causing a commotion. The screams drew more people to the house. As they searched for the killer, they spotted Jack on the roof. Looking down, some suggested calling the police. Others said he was crazy. Jack thought he was just making an attempt. He didn't want to go to jail. In desperation, Jack used the mouse cursor to box everything downstairs again. Then he hit one button to delete. The world was instantly silent. Jack did not expect this to end up like this. He fled the scene in a panic, forgetting that there was a computer that could retract the previous operation. He ran downstairs in a panic and quickly stopped the cab driver. But when he set his destination, the driver refused to take him because the target road was too congested. Even if Jack was willing to pay $1,000, the driver still refused. Jack was furious and immediately had to pull out the computer to operate some. If the car was not fast, the driver would have been the next victim. Jack had no choice but to walk home. But it didn't go far before he felt something following him. Jack looked left and right but saw nothing. When he wanted to continue to go forward, a giant mouse cursor suddenly appeared on the ground. Jack cautiously moved to the right. The mouse cursor also moved with him. Finally, the mouse cursor enveloped him completely. Jack was looking at the white light shining on his body and felt puzzled and looked up. Suddenly, as the mouse clicked, his body popped out a lot of blood. Jack eventually became a victim of the mouse cursor to kill people. This is a short film from Russia. The screenwriter is very creative. To write a small mouse cursor can also become a murder weapon. Jack inadvertently discovered the secret of the mouse cursor. But when he started to use the mouse cursor for his desire, his end was already predetermined. Jack's ambition gradually expanded in one experiment after another. Finally, he began to try to dominate the lives of others. The ending of the movie also tells us that when you use technology to infringe on the interests of others, you will eventually become the target of others. What goes around comes around. If you also have a mouse cursor that can control everything it will, what would you do with it?